Well, hello, my YouTube fellows and gals. So, if you're new to my channel, my name is Tammy. I only use Bookstore, but I'm also a resource center and I will read you synopsises of books. And if you're interested in these, you can go purchase them however you decide to read. So, you can talk to me through Minda's Bookstore and more on Facebook, all ran together as one word. Or Tammy's Makeup Treats at gmail.com. And everything will be in the description below. So you can look up the title, the author, and all that stuff. So we are working on Lot 64. And these are all softbacks today. And they are $2 a piece. And they're like not the average size softback book. They're taller. So we will start with book number one. This is called The Templar Archive by James Becker. This is a 2016 copyright, and this is what the book's about. While trying to decipher what few clues they have managed to recover about the Templar secrets, Jessup and Mallory discover that the legendary treasure they have been searching for may not be what they thought. Rather than gold or precious jewels, their long-sought prize might, in fact, be something far more valuable information. For the Knights Templar were the original inventors of international trade, and not all of it was in money. Lands, titles, and the fates of the entire noble houses were placed in their keeping. The records of such transactions through centuries, though centuries old, could possibly yield the greatest wealth in the world. But hunting for such arch and archive places, Jessup and Mallory in the crosshairs of your most powerful families. So that is book number one. Book number two, we have Target America by Scott McEwen. This is a 2014 copyright. And this is what it's about. No rules, no surrender, no mercy. When Czech and rebels succeed in smuggling a Cold War era Russian nuke into the U.S., the American president is forced to reactivate the same shadow team he disbanded after their direct defiance of his orders. Nothing about Gil Shannon's rogue band of SEALs and Delta Force fighters is business as usual, but neither is the nuclear threat from within America's borders. Staying one step ahead of the Czech is easy. Keeping the mission off the grid while racing the clock is tougher. One ship spells epic failure for the president and for our nation with no clue it is being primed for destruction. That gives Gil Sheen and his warriors one shot to keep the terrorist plot where it belongs in the dark. So there you go. Book number two. Book number three, we have Active Treason by Vince Flynn. This is a 2006 copyright and this is what it's about. In the final weeks of a fierce presidential campaign, a motorcade carrying candidate Josh, Josh Alexander is shattered by a car bomb. Soon after the attack, Alexander is carried to victory by a sympathy vote, but his assailants have not been found. When CIA Director Irene Kennedy and Special Agent Skip McMahon receive damaging intelligence on Washington's most powerful players, they call on Mitch Rapp, the one man reckless enough to unravel a global network of contract killers on an explosive mission that leads back to the heart of our nation's capital in the inner sanctum of the Oval Office. So there's book number three. Book number four, we have The Solomon Curse by Clive Cussler and Russell Blake. This is a 2015 copyright, and this is what the book's about. There are many rumors about the day off the Guad Guadalcanal in the Solomon Islands. Some say it was the site of lost empire of a Solomon king, and that a great treasure lies beneath the waters. Others say that a terrible things happen there. Atrocities and disappearances at the hands of a cannibal giants and those who venture there do not return. It is cursed. Which is exactly what attracts the attention of husband and wife treasure hunting team Sam and Remy Fargo. How could they resist? Clues and whispers lead them on a hunt from the Solomons to Australia to Japan. And what they find at the end of the trail is both wonderful and monstrous and like nothing they've ever seen before. So there you go. There is book number four. 
next book, number five, we have House of the Rising Sun by James Lee Burke. This is a 2015 copyright, and this is what it's about. From its open scene in revolutionary Mexico to the Battle of the Marne in 1818, and on to the bordellas and saloons of the San Antonio during the reign of of the Hole in the Wall Gang, House of the Rising Sun is an epic tale of love, loss, betrayal, vengeance, and retribution that follows Texas Ranger Hackberry Holland on his journey to reunite with his estranged son, Ishmael, a captain in the United States Army. After a violent encounter that leaves four Mexican soldiers dead, Hackberry escapes the country in possession of a stolen artifact, earning the ear of a bloodthirsty arms dealer who then places Ishmael squarely in the crosshairs of a plot to recapture his prize, believed to be the mythic cup of Christ. With the help of three extraordinary women, each bound to his journey in her own way, Hackberry is determined to reconcile with Ishmael to vanquish their enemies and to return to the, the grail to its rightful place. So there you go. Book number five book number six we have Threaticon by Andrew Britton this is a 2014 copyright and this is what the book is about Ryan Keeley has no doubt that the forces seeking to tip his teetering world into chaos are just getting better better equipped better organized and most terrifying of all more patient and despite all Elen, the all-seeing electronic intelligence gathered at Langley, nothing stops the devastating attack from ripping through the heart of San Antonio, Texas. Wrenched from retirement to work, the Texas tragedy Killy learns of a greater threat in the Middle East. A radical terrorist group claims possession of a powerful ancient relic, the Staff of Moses, which they will use to unleash plagues across the globe. To avert unimaginable devastation, Lone Wolf Keeling, armed with little more than intuition, must prevent a disaster of biblical proportions that may well be inevitable. So there's book six. Book number seven, we have Snowblind by Christopher Golden. And this is a 2014 copyright. And this is what the book's about. Photographer Jake Shapiro mourns the little brother he lost in the storm, and this time he will see another boy go missing. Mechanic and part-time thief Doug Manning, whose wife was never found after she wandered into the whiteout, is starting over with another woman. In more ambitious crimes, police detective Joe Keenan has never been the same since that night when he failed to save the life of a young boy, and the boy's father vanished in the storm only a few feet away, and all the way on the other side of the country, Mary... Ristini receives a phone call from a man who died 12 years ago. Old ghosts are trickling back to life. A new threat rolls in. Could it be that this storm will be even more terrifying than the last? So there you go. Book 7. Book number 8, we have The Sniper and the Wolf by Scott McEwen with Thomas Colinaire. This is a 2015 copyright, and this is what the book's about. Hot on the trail of the wolf, a rogue Russian military sniper turned Chechen Chechen terrorist. Gil Shannon now turns from hunter to hunted when his mission is exposed by a traitor high up in the U.S. government. Shannon has no choice but to align himself with a deadly Russian special operative to help even the odds. But when the two discover that the wolf represents just the tip of a global terrorist plot whose ultimate goal is to upend the U.S. economy and the stability of the Western world, Shannon aims to shut down this ruthless group bent on destruction before its plan comes to fruitation. But as he goes head-to-head -head with legions of enemy fighters all across Europe, Shannon must struggle to survive against the one foe above all, just maybe his equal shot. So there you go. Book number eight. Book number nine, we have The Striker with Clive Kessler and Justin Scott. This is a 2013 copyright. And this is what the book is about. In 1902, 
and a bright and experienced young man named Isaac Bell, only two years out of his apprenticeship at the Van Doren Detective Agency, has an urgent message for his boss. Hired to hunt for radical unionist saboteurs in the coal mines, he is witness to a terrible accident that makes him think something else is going on. The profiteers are working a bigger and bigger stakes are in play. Little does he know just how big they are. Given exactly one week to prove his case, Bill quickly finds himself pitted against two of the most ruthless opponents he has ever known. Men of staggering ambition and cold-bloodedness who are not about to let some wet-behind-the-ears detective stand in their way. So there you go. Book number nine. Book number 10 and the last book today in this video is The Havana Storm. This is Clive Kessler and Dirk Kessler. This is a 2014 copyright. That's them. And this is what it's about. While investigating a toxic outbreak in the Caribbean Sea, the Caribbean Sea, that ultimately threatened the United States, Pitt unwillingly becomes involved in something even more dangerous, a post-Castro power struggle for control of Cuba. Meanwhile, Pitt's children, marine engineer Dirk and oceanographer Summer, are on investigation of their own, chasing an Aztec stone that may reveal the whereabouts of a vast treasure. The stone was supposedly destroyed on the battleship Maine in the Havana Harbor in 1898, which bring them both to Cuba as well, and squarely into harm's way. The three of them have been in desperate situations before, but perhaps none quite as dire as the one facing them now. So there is book number 10. And with that, whatever time zone you're in, I hope you're having a great one. Please leave a comment down below, and I'll see you soon. Bye!